Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today you're coming inside my house as we do a day in the life of potty training day one. I've got a two and a half year old, he's ready to potty train, so come with me and see how it gets done. All right, it is potty training day one. My plan was to start right when my son woke up, but he woke up super early, like it was still dark and I didn't want to wake the rest of the family, so I took him out of the house. We're gonna go for a walk, get some fresh air, come home, have a cup of coffee, and then we'll start. Here's the game plan for today. I want to follow my son like a hawk, catch him mid-pee, get him to the toilet so that he's starting to learn that pee goes in the toilet. We are gonna do the naked from bottom down, there are times when you're going to want to use underwear, um, but my third son, I think this is going to be the best approach. If you want to know kind of the difference between the two, I have a course um, down below in the description that you can watch to find out the difference. I am not expecting him to go accident free today. I would be so excited if he gets something in the toilet, so that's my expectation. I'm keeping it very low because I know potty training is long and um, you just have to be patient with it. First thing I did was let them let my son know that he is a big boy now and he is not gonna wear diapers. We threw the diapers away, we went and sat on the toilet, nothing happened, but I explained to him that if he pees in the toilet, he was gonna get a jelly bean. So having rewards during potty training, super important. You can decide what you think motivates your kids the most. I absolutely say verbal praise, number one. I'm so proud of you, high five, way to go big boy, those kind of things. But my kids are highly motivated by candy, so candy it is. Um, I have a jar of jelly beans on my um, toilet in the bathroom, and when he does something in the toilet, he gets one jelly bean. So not a handful, um, one jelly bean. And some people say, oh, well, shouldn't you use something that's not candy? Over time, the jelly beans kind of fade away, you're not gonna need them anymore, and then all of a sudden one day the jar's gone and they're done. So if this is motivating for your child, go for it. I set up the bathroom with potty books, um, rewards, lots of Clorox wipes and flushable wipes, and I have this awesome toilet seat that is an adult seat, but it also has a child seat fit in, and it's magnetized so it stays right up there. So it's perfect if you wanna start on the toilet. We are encouraging liquids for him, and I have him in just a t-shirt with nothing underneath. Um, but make sure to check out my course for the benefits of using underwear versus naked, and you can see that in the description below. Okay, we had our first little tiny accident. Literally dribble, dribble, dribble. Didn't catch it in time, um, but we raced into the potty and sat him down and just said, next time, tell mama before you go, we're gonna get the potty in the toilet. So, all right one accident so far. Okay, so I knew we'd be stuck at home for all day long, so I came up with some fun activities for, to do that are new. Um, we'll keep them busy, but also not too much of a mess. So we're gonna play with these water beads. These were a hit. My boys played with them for over an hour. They were very little mess, and it kept my little one close by so I could keep an eye on him. Okay, while we were out doing our water beads, Maverick started peeing a lot. So we raced him to the toilet. I didn't think we were gonna make it because he had done a lot, but he finished a little bit in the toilet. So we got a jelly bean. Um, this was more than I thought we would get on day one. Usually it's just accidents all over the floor. Um, so yay, high five Maverick, good boy. <laughs> so, okay, off to a good start. All right, we had a few hours of potty training. Um, as you can see from some of that footage, we had some accidents. We actually had some su success in the toilet. I think that has a little bit to do with some of the prepping I've been doing with him um, prior to potty training. So there are some super easy, like just gentle little things that you can do to help prep your kids for potty training without going overboard. If you wanna know more about those, make sure to check out my course below. Um, he's also a third born, so if you have a first born, maybe don't expect to have pee in the toilet on the first day. That is um, something I was shooting for, and I'm very excited that it happened, but it's not something that you might see on day one. It is nap time. <sighs> I'm taking a little break because this was exhausting watching my son all morning. Um, he is still a napper, so I did not want him to miss a nap, 
just because we're potty training and I need a break. This is so tiring. Um, I did put a diaper on him during nap time. He is by far not ready to go without a diaper. And I explained to him, said, you're still learning. You're doing such a good job during the day, but while you're sleeping, we're gonna put a diaper on you. When you get up, we had to take it off. If I notice that he's been dry for about five days during nap time, I might try it without a diaper. But for now, nap time, nighttime, we are putting the diaper on because I need a break. Okay, nap time's over. His diaper was a little bit wet, so I know we're not ready to take it off during nap time, but we did put him on the toilet. He did a little bit, and we're just gonna keep watching him. Um, keep taking him to the bathroom when he tells us he's ready. Okay, we are having tons of success with peeing on the potty. I think, um, it's very fun for him right now, um, but I am having some sneaking suspicions. There might be a number two coming. There's just a lot of farting. So we're gonna try reading some books and see what happens. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, it is um, about an hour before bedtime. It's been a long day. We've had a lot of success, a few little accidents here and there, but for the most part, we're getting, um, we're getting pee in the potty and no poop today, which I kind of expected. So I'm gonna be on the lookout tomorrow, but boy, I am ready for him to be in bed. It's been a long day. Okay, we did it. We made it to the end of day one. Um, some great takeaways today. Maverick was able to go pee in the potty. That was huge. Um, I'm thinking tomorrow, it's gonna be a little different. Maybe the novelty will wear out a little bit and he won't be quite as excited, but we'll see. I'm hoping to get him to maybe hold it a little bit longer because today it was like he would go pee every like two minutes for a while. Um, so I wanna see if he can maybe hold it a little bit longer and we're still shooting for number two. I knew it probably wouldn't come today, but um, we're gonna give it a try tomorrow. I just put a diaper on him and explained to him, you are learning how to go potty and while you're sleeping, we're gonna put a diaper on you, but in the morning, we're gonna take it off. Put him down, he's asleep, and now we can relax. So stay tuned, day two coming up tomorrow.